Hey Scorpios, Intuition Angel here, reading for you guys for this week in July. I hope everyone's doing okay. All right, so Scorpio, I just heard that you know something, all right? So I was trying to rest for a little bit, and as I was channeling, walking into your guys' energy, I feel like you know something, and someone is like obsessed with you or like all up in your energy right now because they know that you know something about them. I don't know if you told them that you know this, or this could be a person situation, but I really feel like... um for you guys Scorpio that like someone is like on your back someone keeps popping over your house it's because you know something I don't know if it's something that they want to know about you and they just want you to they want you to teach them something or if it's something that you know about them and they don't want you to expose it but let's see what's going on with Scorpio all right, so we have rest and rejuvenation and shadow. So I feel like for some of you, um, you're dealing with someone here who has to deal with their shadow side, okay? A lot of shadow work being done, okay? This is what you guys are going through, Scorpio. You guys are just um, chilling, like sitting in your own space, wanting to be at home more right now, especially we're in cancer season, so it makes a lot of sense, okay? And while you're doing that, you're dealing with your shadow work. I feel like someone here doesn't want to deal with their shadow work. But I feel like you're the spiritual one in this connection or in this situation. So you're going to do the shadow work, okay? But regardless, you're you're doing the shadow work as to why you attract this person. And you're meditating. Um, you're getting a lot of downloads, okay? You're just trying to get some peace and quiet. A lot of rest, okay? You don't want to be around like too much noise is what I just heard. Yes, yeah, so we have obstacles and challenges here. Okay, so there could be like some sort of block when it comes to dealing with your uh, shadow side. I feel like when you meditate, you're thinking about all the things that needs to be done to head to the next phase. There could be some obstacles and challenges, but I don't think it's anything that you can't handle. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? Okay. Yeah, positive movement forward. You're, you're definitely going to be uh, headed into something new. Um... Even if it doesn't look like it right now. But anyway, I heard that you know something. But you you don't even care is also what I heard, Scorpio. This information or quote-unquote tea is not necessarily tea to you, but something that you've always known. It doesn't really even bother you. But I feel like it bothers someone around you. Okay. What else for Scorpio? Yeah, I feel like someone's like in your energy because... They feel like, yeah, partnerships and alliances. I feel like someone here like wants to party with you, take you out or something like that or trying to get you out of your head. And um, sometimes that could be a good thing. You could have good friends around you. You could have a spiritual tribe around you. Um, maybe trying to get your mind off of things. But for others of you, I feel like people are trying to get you from your shadow work. It's shadow work time right now. And people are either distracting. I'm also hearing something like when you guys meditate, um... Some of you might fall asleep sometimes, which is okay. I mean, it, it happens, but it doesn't really give you the... I mean, you wake up and the whole day went past and you didn't get anything done. You got all these obstacles and challenges that you got to take care of. People are trying to party with you and you're just like, I just need to focus on myself. I need to figure something out really quick. I feel like there's a pain in you or like some sort of pain within you. And it's like triggering this um, meditation. Yeah, we have triumphant success. There, it's like you looking at the truth about something. Are you trying to see the truth about something? And it has a lot to do with how you deal with things in life. I don't think that you're even blaming anybody um, for the things that are that are going on in your life right now, Scorpio. In fact, you're very... Um, you're starting to look at yourself, okay? But in a loving way is what I'm getting here. Because I feel that you guys are just resting. All right. So let's see. Let's clarify. Why is shadow here for Scorpio? Shadow for Scorpio. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so we have reflection projections. You guys are looking at yourself in the mirror. Um, try not to project what you know about yourself onto other people. Okay, for others of you, this could be a person around you that needs to look at themselves in the mirror. They refuse to look at themselves in the mirror. Instead, they would rather project things onto you. I feel like also you're starting to like when people project things onto you, you actually take in consideration what they're saying about you because you feel like that's had it has a lot to do with your shadow work. Okay, 
All right, so we're talking about a twin flame, but it's like karmic twin flame. I feel like this twin flame is separated from you because they're going through karma. Clarify uh, rest and rejuvenation, please, for Scorpio. Okay, yeah, so we have closed off, guarded, and resisting. So you're resisting everyone's energy right now. People are noticing this about you too. That you're very regarded, that you're very guarded and resisting a lot of things right now, resisting connections, resisting going out, talking to people, um, leaving messages on red, things like that. You don't want to be bothered. Okay. It's just shadow work. It's okay. You guys aren't an outcast or you guys aren't really going, you know, you guys aren't weird. But people are just noticing this about you. Clarify obstacles and challenges for Scorpio. Obstacles and challenges for Scorpio. But I feel like the reason why someone is noticing this about you, because maybe they're waiting for you to speak up about something and you're not speaking up about it. And they're like, well, they know something that no one else knows and they're not even speaking about it. I wonder why they're not speaking about it. Okay. Conflict and triggers here at the bottom. We also have renewal, spark, ace of arrow at celebration. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to get um, what you need in life. Um, you guys are going to get a brand new start. All right, so with the Ace of Air, you're finally going to get clarity, a celebration. All right, you de you are definitely going to be hanging out with friends pretty soon. I just feel like you guys got to sit with yourselves for a minute. I feel like it's like self-reflection. Maybe you guys feel bad about something or maybe uh, your person does. And if you don't feel bad about something, it's something that you're trying to deal with me. It could be something like a small addiction that you may have of, for yourself. But... There's definitely going to be a renewal in this situation. You're definitely going to come back to life and be a lot more clear-headed and knowing exactly what to say and what to do in, thing, in situations because I feel like you're being quiet. Clarify triumphant success, please, for Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, so we have karma, and then we have twin flames. It came out again. This is a karmic situation that you're going with a twin flame. You guys aren't... Um. I don't want to say that you're distant because like I said, I feel like someone's watching you. There's a twin flame watching you and or you could be watching this person. But whoever's doing the watching or whoever feels like they're shunned like because you're not talking to them, they feel like it's because you know something. Okay. I feel like also this person might come towards you and explain to you something like tell you the truth about a karmic situation. Because things are definitely balanced out. I feel like if you guys are separated right now from your twin flame, it's supposed to be that way. Clarify, rejoice, and celebration for Scorpio. Rejoice and celebration for Scorpio. We have guilt here. And then we have storm, unexpected. I heard that um, some of your friends or your tribe can make you feel like can make you feel guilty about something. Something could have been avoided. Clarify unexpected storm. For Scorpio. Ace of water. Someone here actually did have feelings for you. They felt like something here could have been avoided. Um, they do feel like you know something because they feel guilty. Yeah, there's some sort of truth that they have to tell. You know the truth about something. But I feel like, yeah, you know the truth, but you're like, okay... You're just not dealing with, you know, you don't need closure from this person. I feel like you guys are doing just shadow work right now. And preparing for your brand new start that you're going to be having. Clarify a positive movement forward for Scorpio. Positive movement forward for Scorpio. They didn't expect to feel guilty about something too. Alright, so you have confusion and illusion. Yeah, so don't be, yeah. Okay. You're heading in a phase in your life where you could be worried about things right now. Um, Spirit is just sitting you down in a corner really quick because they need you to look at something in your past. Something about your childhood, okay? Um, it's going to help you move forward. Let's clarify confusion. Clarify confusion, please. Yeah, disharmony and conflict. Maybe you guys, um, when you do your healing, you may think about the way uh, your parents have done things. For some of you, maybe... Yeah, uh, your parents have had or caused disharmony in the household. Maybe you're like, I don't want that life for myself, but for some reason I seem to be attracted to 
people that I like to argue with pretty much, okay? But that's just because, you know, it could have been what you were raised around, right? Or your person. Because someone is really doing a lot of reflection on, on the truth about their life and a connection to, all right. So that could be the shadow work that you guys are dealing with. If not, then this person has to do that. It could be both of you guys, to be honest, that needs to do that shadow work. Um, arguing parents is not uncommon. It's very common. So you guys got to be careful to not uh, let that seep into your consciousness to where you believe that that's the way a relationship is supposed to go. Um, it's not. It's actually very toxic. All right, so what is it? Yeah, the death card just came out. Scorpio energy. Okay, so what is the energy around Scorpio right now? What's the energy around Scorpio? Someone rising in Venus. All right, so we have the Four of Swords here, the Knight of Swords, and the Sun. Knight of Wands and the Sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. All right, so someone here is like restless. Okay, they want to rush back in. You definitely make them happy. They're enlightened about something. The problem is it's the Knight of Wands. So he's rushing back in just to rush back out. Maybe he's going to come back and say something or perform an action and then leave or something like that. It's like this person is restless. They have to come to you. Um, you definitely make them happy and they're really enlightened about what is going on here. I feel like someone here is no longer in a um, Four of Swords situation where they're just resting. I feel like really they're just trying to get your attention. Yeah, here with the Six of Wands. They can't get your attention. You probably get attention from a lot of people, Scorpio. And they're the only ones that can't get your attention. Okay. You have the Moon card here. Okay, so something has been revealed. Yeah, okay. Something has been revealed. I'm, I'm getting like a waking up energy here with you guys. You guys are going to become single. I don't think that you guys are dealing with this person. For others of you, I feel like this person here like tries to hide um, the way that they act behind the scenes. They act very single and flamboyant. Or not flamboyant, but they act like very, um, they're just out there. The way they dress is very noticeable. Um, the way that they act is very noticeable. They do a lot of foolish things, okay? I feel like this has come to light. Maybe they try to hide this before. But no, I feel like you know deep down that it's not going to work. We have the five of wands here, the four of wands, and the emperor in reverse. Four of wands in reverse too. This person likes conflict. They could be kind of abusive too with the emperor in the reverse. But, you know, it's not that extreme for some of you. For others of you, they just don't know how to have harmony in a the household. They don't know how to have harmony in a household. Maybe they weren't raised right themselves, okay? Because we have a grown man here in the reverse with the four of wands reverse and the five of wands is upright. So this person likes conflict. Yeah, we have the three of cups here. They like to involve other parties. And we have the eight of pentacles and the eight of cups. You walked away because you have to focus on your craft. You got to focus on your work and what you like to do. You, um, you left a lot of things behind for your creativity. Um... Because your spirit is always guiding you to be creative. For others of you, this is like you were working on this and it just wasn't serving you. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups here. You could be very regretful about that. Or they could be. I feel like they're very regretful because you left them for work. Or you left them to focus on your business or something like that. Something creative that you started. This person is trying to control that. What else for Scorpio? All right, so the Ace of Pentacles here, the Strength card, Justice, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person didn't expect you to be strong. We have Libra and Leo here. This person really didn't expect you to be strong. This person didn't expect you to get a new job. I'm hearing, like, just brand new happy days for you, and it's all coming out of your, your strength. It, this is karma for them. This is karma for them. Maybe they underestimated you. Maybe they didn't think that you were going to win that court case or whatever the heck happened. But it's definitely karma for them because now they got a lot of they got a lot of things on their back now. I'm hearing something like 
they show their abusive side. It's no longer a secret. So now that they see that now that you've seen their their dark side, because they do have a dark side, I see it with the sun and the moon here. It's like you know what to do now. But you're not saying nothing, Scorpio. You're not saying anything. You're just doing a lot of reflection and healing off of that. And this person is trying to wonder, is like they're wondering what's going on here. And they know exactly what's going on because they're burdened now. Clarify strength for Scorpio. I just heard Aquarius. Yeah, look. Look, this person is unbalanced because you have a lot of strength. They're also confused with the Seven of Cups and then the Temperance is in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. They're unbalanced. They're an impatient person. They don't know what it... They don't... Okay. There's a verse in the Bible. I don't even know what verse it is, but it definitely explains what love is. This person is none of that. Love is patient. Love is kind. You know, all of that stuff. They don't, they don't know any of that. They never even heard that verse before. They don't get it. They have none of that. They're confused. They maybe have a lot of options. They're really regretful. They were in illusions. Also hearing someone likes to drink a lot. We have the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. Nothing is stopping for you. The only thing that's stopping for you is you working with other people. And then we have the Eight of Swords here. So someone here is like... Someone here is trying to like control something. They're waiting for you to collaborate with them. It's like they're they're afraid that you won't collaborate with them because of what you know or what has been revealed or what came out about their personality. I'm thinking that their personality stinks. And you're over it. You're going to be dropping these burdens. What else for Scorpio? You're over this, Scorpio. You probably won't be coming back to this person. In fact, after you heal... Yeah, Ace of Swords here. There's that clarity again. After you heal, you're going to have so much clarity. You're going to have so much truth about what's going on here. This person has to tell you the truth about something. Okay, so the Ace of Wands in reverse. Something that they invested in did not last. I'm getting it's something that they chose over you. They probably try to do it behind your back. And it just didn't last. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. They didn't. Have, they have terrible memories. Don't deal with this person. You're healing from all this. You, you know that, that you have to deal with your shadow work. That's what everybody has to do. But this ten of one, this ten of swords here, right, right here, is in reverse. So yeah, you've been stabbed in the back a lot of times, but it's like it gives you clarity. Six of Cups in reverse. It talks a lot about childhood memories too, but when it's in reverse, it could be bad memories. So you guys are like tying what's going on with this person and what has you know went on when you were a child and i think that's really great i love that energy for you guys so let's get some advice for you guys like i really do i love that energy for you guys i i think that's that's great that's the that's the correct shadow work to do a lot of people don't like to tie that into their um childhood they'll tie it to an ex like all oh, all my exes have treated me this way well Sometimes you got to go farther, way, 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 way back farther than your ex. Even before your very, very first crush. You got to take it way before that. And you got to do a lot of healing as to why you are the way you are. What else for Scorpio? But yeah, this person's like confused now because they don't understand what you're doing. Yeah, we have the heart chakra here. So you guys are very emotional right now. We have spiritual connection. What else? You guys are very emotional about this person. That's why I feel like it's triggering your um, deep healing work. But I feel like you're going to eventually like leave this person behind. Or you're, you're definitely going to be protected from this person and like rise above it. Because this person has to do their healing work now. Yeah, emotional withdrawal here with emotional loss. They're noticing your emotional withdrawal from them. Yeah, material harvest here. They notice that you have something that you're investing in too. And they're just like, yeah, positive movement forward. 
it came out again for you guys. So I feel like you guys are uh, definitely slowly but surely getting away from this person, you know, mind, body, and soul, out of sight, out of mind type situation. You're putting all your um, energy into creativity and becoming a better you and moving forward. Yeah, work through your fears. That's that shadow work I was talking about. Yeah, a win-win outcome is the forecast. You guys are definitely going to get whatever you want. The painful experience that you feel right now Someone, I don't know who I'm talking to, but someone is going through a painful experience where they feel like they're not enough. Or they feel like they're not going to come out of this. And you will. It's, it's, it's shadow work. Okay. What else for Scorpio? This could be your person, okay? Take this how it resonates. We have a personal issue reaches, reaches resolution. Yeah, nothing will come of the situation. By you doing your uh, deep shadow work, uh, Scorpio, you're going to realize why you attracted this person in the first place and why this person will never be on your level or never or never heal the way you have. Okay, so I feel like you're just going to leave this person waiting. I mean, I feel like to you it feels very good for you to heal and I feel like you're going to become obsessed with that feeling of always wanting to heal. All right, uh, Scorpio. So that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, and share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.